In this video, we'll be introducing two new rules, the quotient rule and the product rule, which allow us to combine other rules that we've learned already, as well as some that we haven't seen yet, to differentiate functions which, which are themselves products or quotients of other functions. So first of all, a motivating problem. At the moment, we basically only know how to differentiate polynomials, sums and differences of constant multiples of powers of x. Say we knew a relationship though between the stress on a tube denoted S, and the outer tube di diameter, capital D, already knowing what the tension and the inner diameter, little d, are. So say we had this kind of function here, S of d is equal to 16 dt over pi times d to the 4 minus little d to the 4. Here our variable is capital D, and you can see it occurs both on the top and on the bottom of a fraction. And we can't really bust this fraction open at all and simplify it down to the kind of function that we know how to differentiate, a polynomial. So we don't know enough about differential calculus yet to find out how stress changes with tube diameter, because S of D is not a polynomial. What we're going to do is use this problem as a motivation. Later on we'll see how to find the derivative of it. But for now we're going to look at a new rule to differentiate this kind of function. So here's the two rules. The first is the product rule. It's probably the easier to evaluate because it talks about a product rather than a fraction. And the second on the bottom here is the quotient rule. Now again, both of these rules can actually be derived using the definition of the derivative. We're not going to do that here though. We're just going to give you the rules and we'll figure out how to use them. So first of all, the product rule. If we have a function f of x, which is made up of u of x multiplied by v of x, two simpler functions. The product rule says that the, der the derivative of f, f dashed of x, or in other words, the derivative of u times v, is given by v of x times u's derivative plus u of x times v's derivative. So we just sort of swap them around, which one we're differentiating, and add them together. This one here is called the product rule. It doesn't matter which order we put these two things in either. In the quotient rule, however, it's a little bit different. So with the quotient rule, say our function f is made up of the quotient, or the division of u and v. The quotient rule says that u divided by v's derivative is v times u's derivative minus u times v's derivative, all divided by v squared. So in this case, it actually does matter which order you do these things. Now it's for that reason that I actually always write both of the rules with the v function first. So I don't mix them up when I'm trying to do the quotient rule. So that's two rules. Now we can take both of those as rules now that we can use throughout our work and we're going to do that quite a bit as we do product and quotient rule problems. So let's have a look at two examples. We've got to find the derivatives with respect to x of each of the following functions. The first one here, f of x is x squared plus 4 times x minus 3x squared. So that little times in there implies that this one is a product. f of x is a product of two functions so we're going to use the product rule. The second function in part b, f of x is x cubed over x minus 4, and of course you can kind of see that one is a quotient, so we'll use the quotient rule for that one. Why don't you pause the video now, see if you can apply these rules from the previous slide, identify what u and v need to be, and then go through the process of finding the derivative. Come back in a few seconds and see if you get what I get. Okay, so the first one here, f of x is equal to x squared plus 4 times x minus 3x squared. Now the key to using the product rule, and the quotient rule for that matter, is identifying what those functions u and v are. So I'm going to let u be x squared plus 4 and v be x minus 3x squared, so that we've got u multiplied by v is f of x. Now you can switch those around, do whatever you like there, but basically it's going to come down to the same thing. Now we need to go back to the rule and it says we need v times u's derivative plus u times v's derivative. And what you might like to do is just jump over to the side and say that u dashed is going to be 2 times x plus 0, and v dash is x, that'll give me a 1, and minus 6x, using the rules from differentiating polynomials. Then we can use the product rule, so it said that we need v times u dashed, so that's x minus 3x squared, times u dashed is 2x, and then we need to add to that, and that's going to be u, so that's x squared plus 4, multiplied by v dashed 1 minus 6x. Now, that is basically our answer. We can actually go through and expand that out. 
Sometimes I won't bother doing that if it doesn't look like I can get much simplification. I think in this case I might actually get a bit, so I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to pause for a moment. You might want to have a try at doing it yourself just for practice. Okay, so it did neaten it up uh, just a little bit, but basically any of these three answers here would be quite okay. Basically the idea was just to get us to try out this new rule, the product rule, and make sure that we can get that to find out what the derivative is. What, one thing I have forgotten here is I've actually said that f of x is equal to that, and that is definitely not correct. So let's fix that up. That's actually f dashed of x. It's the derivative of f. f and f's derivative are not equal to each other. So make sure you're not making the same mistake yourselves. Jumping on to part b, we've got f of x is x cubed over x minus 4. Again, have a go at this one if you haven't already. Pause the video now and try to use the quotient rule on that one. If you did already use the quotient rule just before, see if you can try to use the product rule on that same function and see if you get the same answer. Okay, so again, we need to pick what u and v are. So we need u of x is going to be the top. With the quotient rule, u of x is always the top. And v of x is always the bottom of the fraction, x minus 4. So u dashed of x is quite simply 3x squared. And v dashed of x is equal to just 1. So remembering it's f dashed of x, it's going to be v times u dashed minus u times v dashed all over v squared. So we're just going to plug those in now. v is x minus 4 times u dashed is 3x squared. Take away u times v dashed, that's x cubed by 1, all over v squared, that's x minus 4 all squared. Probably won't get any simplification here, but let's just have a quick look. Uh, 3x cubed minus x cubed, that's going to be 2x cubed. Take away 12x squared, all over x minus 4 all squared. So that's our derivative, our instantaneous rate of change, if you like, of the function f of x equals x cubed on x minus 4. Now I did uh, suggest that some people might want to try to do this with the, the product rule. You can do this with the product rule if you set product rule version, u would be equal to x cubed and v would be equal to x minus 4 to the minus 1. So this quotient up here is exactly the same as x cubed times x minus 4 to the minus 1. And if you went through the process with the quotient, uh, sorry, the product rule, you should get the same answer as that or something equivalent to it. Either way is fine really. I tend to use the quotient rule if it looks like it's going to be easy enough. So where to now? We now know how to differentiate polynomials, so constants, powers of x, uh, constant multiples of things, and sums of all of those. We can also differentiate products of functions and quotients of functions. And we can put all of these things together, as you've seen in the last couple of examples. We can find using calculus how quantities vary with respect to each other when they can be written mathematically as sums, products, quotients, and powers of variables. Okay, like I said, the two rules can be derived from first principles, from the definition, and if you're looking for a challenge yourself, maybe try to do that. Uh, try to use the definition to derive the product rule, or the quotient rule, from first principles. If you get a bit stuck, maybe ask your lecturer or tutor, or you can have a look at it in um, many websites and also in textbooks. Uh, remember to keep adding to your cheat sheet. The product and quotient rules are great things to add there, and to be attempting the exercises. The more practice you get with these, the better.